Assalamualaikum everybody. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalatu wassalamu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. If you can, uh, Brother Shakil, uh, put for us the model uh, that we are following, uh, uh, the structure of the, of the surah. Again, you, uh, just a reminder uh, that the, the central theme uh, of the surah Again, to, to the best of, uh, of, of my knowledge, uh, or the way I, 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 I see the, the, the surah where, uh, and it's different uh, topics, I see them really rotating around this, the central theme where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمْ عَلَى قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا Okay, so the, 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 the uh, uh, Quran or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is inviting the readers of, of Quran or the listeners to, to Quran is really like to not to uh, stop at the surface, not to be like uh, 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 or, or uh, uh, be satisfied with uh, just like the immediate uh, meaning, but also to uh, look for deeper meanings. Uh, every meaning is hiding behind it another one. Yatadabbar, as if there is something behind, okay? Every meaning, every understanding as humans we reach to, Okay, we have to believe that should really be a, a sign to us that there is another, okay, meaning behind it. Uh, and in my uh, uh, profession, as you know, in infectious diseases, we rely a lot on cultures, okay, to grow organisms. And uh, uh, an important body fluid that we look for uh, uh, or we culture to see if the patient has an infection uh, is really the blood. So we do blood cultures, I mean, all, all the time. And, uh, and one thing that I learned from microbiologists, okay, is that uh, they, they train themselves and they train others and they teach us, okay, although we are not in the lab, but be, uh, we rely on the information that we receive from the lab that every time they see an organism, okay, they, ca they cannot say, oh, I, uh, th that's it, I find it, okay? The, the fact that you see an organism, this means that it is possible that there is another one. Although most of the time we find only one, but they train themselves and others, okay, not to stop and to take thing as a possibility that there is something else going on. And this, I, I say, I see it in a similar way, okay. Uh, you you reach a certain understanding, okay. By itself, it means that there is a potential for another one and another one, and another one. But you need to keep digging and you need more tools, okay? And the right tools to dig deeper and deeper and to ask, okay, deeper questions in order for Quran to give you what is hind hiding, okay? It is there, okay? And uh, it is still hidden from you. You need to dig deeper and and uh, and to find really these. As we said, kitab maknoon. قل لو كان البحر مدادا لكلمات ربي لنفد البحر قبل أن تنفد كلمات ربي ولو جئنا بمثله مددا. So there is no uh, 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 limit to the meanings that can be derived from 
the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are by themselves infinite. Okay, so do not stop. And, and at, at the same time, okay, look also behind the event, behind the actions, okay? What, which means what? The consequences. Not, don't limit yourself to the here and now, but what will happen in the future if we take that action versus another action? And we have seen this in, 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 the, in the surah, okay, uh, like giving us like always two uh, paradigms, if you like, two different outlooks, diametrically opposite outlooks, okay? Uh, and Quran is saying, it is up to you, which one you want really to take. Unless you think about these consequences, okay, your knowledge is will be limited and hence the, your your decisions will not be really the right ones let us see how that applies to the uh, to the section of uh, the verses 16 to 23 and uh, their symmetrical ones 32 to 38. And again, you can see how the central theme, like, uh, or they, they are, uh, these sections are symmetrical, okay? Uh, 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 no, I'm sorry, uh, verses 16 to 23 and 25, 31, okay? They are symmetrical, okay, in respect, or with res uh, in respect to the central theme. The same way we saw verses 1 to 15, symmetrical to 32, 38 in the previous really sessions. Make sense? Yes, no? Where are you? Yes, uh, yeah. I'm not sure <laughs> everybody's mute or I don't yeah, know. It's shaky, shaky. Yeah. Okay. So everybody is. Uh... Yeah, can you hear me? No. Okay. Sorry. I was on okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. No. Right. Everybody is fine. Okay. Very good. So again, the the uh, today we will uh, uh, start with uh, verse number sixteen. Okay, uh, sixteen to twenty three. I I think we will be probably able to, uh, 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 inshallah, cover that that part today. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَسْتَمِعُ إِلَيْكَ Okay, so Quran is talking about people who come uh, and listen to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Talking about, again, the, the Quran and uh, what, what, uh, how Quran can be translated into, into actions, okay? Um, and uh, 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 it seems from the, uh, uh, the, the the way the verse is constructed in comparison to other verses talking about similar meaning uh, in other places of Quran. For example, I think one of the best examples, uh, uh, I think in Surah uh, Al-An'am, Or, or, or Yunus, let me see. Yes, yeah, and Surah Yunus, which is number 10, verses uh, 42 and 43. Okay. Just to show you the, I mean, the, uh, when you compare, you can infer really uh, 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 more relevant really meanings, okay, to, to, the, to the surah that we are, and the, the, the context, okay, of... Almost, uh, almost the so same versus, 
ومنهم ما يستمعون إليك إليك exactly ومنهم من يستمعون إليك أفأنت تسمع الصم ولو كانوا لا يعقلون ومنهم من ينظر إليك أفأنت تهدي العمي ولو كانوا لا يبصرون okay uh, here I mean in in surat uh, in these two verses Quran is talking about people who basically had made their decision and rejected okay uh, the uh, they don't they, they 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 look as if they are listening okay but but as if they are really deaf okay and they may be looking at you but as if they are really uh, blind okay in other words they they are not interested at all okay uh, but here the the way the the verse is structured that uh, 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 they listen to you but they pretend that they are listening to you because they they are even pretending that they they believe in you can you go back to the to the verse in surah muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam ومنهم من يستمع اليك حتى اذا خرجوا من عندك قالوا للذين اوتوا العلم ماذا قال انفا so as the 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 meeting uh, uh, and the lecture is, is is done and the lesson is done okay and they are leaving muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam kharaju min andik qalu lilladhina they will say to those who are knowledgeable like uh, 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 ibn abbas like uh, 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 the other uh, ali ibn abi talib i mean the prominent people okay who were really very well known to be knowledgeable uh, uh, among the, the the companions of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so they will rush to them and say what did he say earlier قالوا للذين اوتوا العلم ماذا قال أنا. so they they so in other words they they pretended that they were listening but they are they were not really interested in anything because and in fact these are most likely the uh, the hypocrites these are the conspirators they uh, they pretend and they may go and ask so that if people ask them they will show that they were there and they were listening or something like that but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uncovered them okay and said ulaika alladhina taba'a allah ala qulubihim wattaba'u ahwa'ahum even if they really were uh, 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 they were listening really with only with their ears but nothing is reaching their their hearts and minds because they were sealed their their hearts have been sealed why because sealed because of their own desires and lust so they are imprisoned they are following their they want only to fulfill their their desires so this is why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sealed their hearts so they they don't want okay and if they don't want allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want them okay they they are left i mean again to, to to their desires let their desires help them okay so uh, here you can see from this very uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, concise brief description that we have really two types of people who were listening to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam those who were pretending okay even in medina we are in medina we are not talking about uh, the, those who rejected these were more in, in they were in mecca okay ومنهم من يستمعون اليك ومنهم من ينظر اليك okay you see that a lot in the meccan uh, verses but here okay these are not the true believers the true believers were hungry 
for knowledge. Okay, and there were people who were really there are so interested that they uh, 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 conveyed okay that knowledge to uh, to 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 the coming really generations, and this is why we still I mean like know what what the um, uh, these people have said and uh, 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 how, how they, they uh, uh, tr translated, I mean, the, 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 these, I mean, uh, uh, instructions and these lessons into, into practice, okay? So the, uh, and again, uh, th this is how through them, the light of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was reflected. In other words, you can tell about the uh, uh, performance of a figure like Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the impact he left on his, on his followers. In other words, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was investing and this because he 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 knows that they are the ones who will really carry the message after him and so he was interested in them and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him that you need to, to the, you need them ya ayyuhan nabiy hasbuka allah wa man ittaba'aka min al mu'minin i am enough for you and some, I mean, if it were left to us, we would have said, okay, ya, ya ayyuhan nabi, you hasbuk Allah. And you don't need anybody. No, no, Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that the, the light of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will mean nothing if it is only, if it was not reflected by, by others. And this is why Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was very conscious about how to invest in and his people. The, the, uh, the other type were, as we said, like the, the way they were behaving, okay? Those who rejected, they don't ask what Muhammad has said before. They are not interested at all, but these were really pretending that they were there and they were listening and they are really like uh, asking questions and they are reviewing, okay, what, what has been said. This is, this is uh, again, uh, uh, will not pass. And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uncovered really them. And again, to, to see, okay, the, uh, 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 the, they are, again, it is not a matter of just, like listening but active listening in order really like to and you can see the importance of knowledge that always should precede any like uh, uh, action however it is verbal or non-verbal you see so in qawl and amal are based on ilm. And we will see that in the following verses. Okay? But للذين أوتوا العلم he could have said للمؤمنين. No, 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 no. It is للذين أوتوا العلم you need the knowledge as a prerequisite for any type of action or any type of saying. Before you say something, be before you do something, you need to have the knowledge, which sometimes, unfortunately, is missing. Okay? Lot of talk, lot of, but not based on clear knowledge. Look at the following verse about these people, 
okay, the, 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 those who were given the knowledge, وَالَّذِينَ اهْتَدَوْا زَادَهُمْ هُدًا وَآتَاهُمْ تَقْوَاهُمْ Those who were really, truly listening to Muhammad Sallallahu these are the people who were further guided. Their guidance was really, add, they added to their guidance. وَالَّذِينَ اهْتَدَوْا You see the dynamicity here? وَالَّذِينَ اهْتَدَوْ زَادَهُمْ هُدًا What is the uh, 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 the verse that we we all say it as f in the f uh, and we translated or or we transform it into a dua and it is in the form of dua waqur rabbi zidni ilma you see zidni al it's not a static thing it is a dynamic thing okay like iman zadahum imanan Zadathum imana. Every time they listen to a, 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 a new verse reveal, or in, in, in our situation, every time we learn about uh, a, a, a new meaning, we have, we have more insight about a certain verse or surah. Your knowledge increases your, you, are, you feel that you are more guided, and you feel that you have more faith. So those who were asking for guidance were given more guidance. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them more taqwa. They become more conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and conscious about the things that really they need to avoid. Uh, or should not let, like the, 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 the other uh, 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 type, okay, or the, in this particular situation, the, the hypocrites, okay, the, their own lusts and desires came between them and really understanding Quran. Here, the, the, the believers, those who were given the knowledge, who were asking for more guidance, they were becoming more conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his beautiful names. And so they keep their desires under their control. They will not let them or let themselves become imprisoned in their own desires. So you see how one verse or what is happening to the other group, something that we can learn that should be avoided by the other, the believers themselves. No question, the first, uh, the, the conspirators, they were not looking for guidance. If they were looking for guidance, they would, it's like when you are, are giving a lecture, you see the students looking at you all the time, hungry, like to take everything you are saying, okay, because they are interested and they want to increase their knowledge. They want to increase their understanding. But there may be, Students who maybe not even they pretend that they are listening, but their minds and hearts are somewhere else. Fahalian, yes, yes, please go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's why in the uh, every prayer when we say "Ehdena Sirat al Mustaqim," we are mm -hmm. asking for a hedaya, truly, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and. Those people, you know, in the first ayah, you we are talking about, they, they in fact, uh, when they listen to a lecture or at that time, you know, the uh, the Prophet وسلم, they knew, they exactly knew these are the people who know mm -hmm. what he is talking about, but they were denying. Yes. So yeah, exactly. here I, ha I have a quick question. You, mm -hmm. you think, I mean, we are not here to put a name on here, but uh, in the history, at that time, 
do you think Abu Jahl he could be an example of those kind of people because yeah. he really knew uh, oh yeah all no, the, I, uh, but he wasn't he was denying yes yes uh, if, if, uh, again I am trying to def- or as Quran differentiated okay but but they are really in the same and 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 in the same basket if you like okay on the same axis okay al kafirun wal munafiq okay oh. but al kafirun mostly okay no, no question al munafiqun basically rejecting this is why yeah. they, they but they are they are, their behavior is different Abu Jahl and, and, and his entourage, okay, in Mecca, and the, the elites in Mecca, definitely they listen, okay, but they rejected right away. They did not say, okay, we, they pretended, okay, that they are believers, you see, and then, and then they were like working underground. No, no, in the open, they, were, they rejected Muhammad Sallallahu from the beginning. The, the conspirators or the hypocrites were in, in Medina, okay, pretending that they are on the side of the believers, on the side of Muhammad Sallallahu but they were really hiding their rejection and they were really trying like to uh, 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 disrupt the society from within while the the, 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 the Mecca and its elites were trying from the outside. And so we, we have been saying in Medina, the situation became like this, that the newly born society is facing two dangers, a danger that is coming from outside. This is very clear, but the danger from inside was very implicit. And it, it, I mean, it is, it, it requires more vigilance. Make sense? Yeah. So the verses, good. the verses from Surah Yunus definitely it, it, it applies more to, as I said, to those who were who rejected from the beginning. Okay, and they were not pretending anything. They were clear. I think yes. the, it was harder, like to. It's, they're much more dangerous the, the people who are within right because it's, oh it's yeah this is this is why be... yeah this is why the the quran discussed and dealt with that situation and uh, and dedicated so many places in quran to, to 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 talk about that so that the believers would will be vigilant all the time okay and uh, uh, and to d- do something about it, not by resorting to violence, because violence will not really, uh, I mean, uh, 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 stop or, or un- unless like they really go to the extreme, okay? But they, they had the opportunity uh, under the guidance of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Definitely through the revelation, uh, uh, or the revelation through Muhammad Sallallahu to solve or to stop that, uh, and to solve that problem. Okay, it did not happen overnight. But again, the the best way is really like to, uh, 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 if if they are doing something, if they were staying, don't spend in the way of Allah, go and spend. This is the best way. You see, like to, uh, 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 to defray uh, uh, and uh, uh, their, their, uh, uh, and fail their, their plans and the plots. You see, in other words, if, if they are really like listening and they or pretending to listen, the believers and those who were, uh, they, they will not only, they will always look for more guidance, for more knowledge. And so they will make Muhammad Sallallahu successful. 
because they are reflecting more of his light. If it were, if they become indifferent to what is, is happening, okay, they, they, these people may prevail. No question in my mind that it would have prevailed. But to really like uh, uh, standing up to them is by really listening actively to, to Quran, but as the verse, the central verse in the surah, with tadabbur, afala yatadabbarun al Quran. Okay? And so look now, uh, you see, like you can see uh, the, the verses are alternating. Okay? Number 16 is talking about uh, the, uh, those who really pretending that they are listening. And then verse 17, those who are given the knowledge and are looking for more guidance. This is how they were listening to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now verses 18, coming back to the, to, to, uh, like, uh, like as if it is symmetrical to, to the verse number 16. فَهَلْ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَّا السَّاعَةَ أَنْ تَأْتِيَهُمْ بَغْتَةً فَقَدْ جَاءَ أَشْرَاتُهَا What are they waiting for? Are they, 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 they think that they will live forever and they will not really come back to us to be judged like the day of a judgment and that will happen I mean suddenly now why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is, is saying or telling us uh, in, in, in this way that the day of a judgment is not far away because every one of us has seen signs for that. If it is not really the, the real, like, uh, 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 day of a judgment, okay, and the he uh, the, or the, the next life, but when our time is up, when we die, for uh, for the every one of us, this is when your day of judgment, if you like, starts, or your next life starts. The, you are done with this life, and so ashratuha. You have seen its signs. How do you how do you see the signs? Uh, uh, I mean, look at all of us. When, when you get older, every year passes, you feel that you are getting closer and closer. God forbid when, when someone or any one of us gets sick. You see, I mean, you, you feel, oh my God, I, as if my, my time is getting closer and closer. And depending on the type of, 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 of the disease, people will have more insight. So you are seeing the, this life itself, this life itself. Now we have reached like uh, a, a, a time in the history of, a, of a humanity that we are, we know now how long this life has been from the time, okay? The, 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 this universe has been created we are talking about more than 14 billion years. What is your life compared to that? What is the life of all humans? You all know that it is just a few, we are like in the last few minutes to 12 o'clock, if you like to, I mean, like if you, if you make your life like uh, one, uh, uh, like uh, like for the minute, okay, like to go from from twelve and go back to twelve, okay. <laughs> we are in the last few seconds from that minute compared to the, the the whole this time that has elapsed before we came even to this. So don't do you don't agree? And Muhammad will, 
will make it closer to the understanding of the people when he used to say, بُعِثْتُ أَنَا وَالْآخِرَ كَهَاتَيْنِ Yeah, yeah, the, 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 uh, so uh, the fact that I am the seal of the prophets is by itself an indication that we get, are getting closer to the end of this life. And no matter how we, it may, we may perceive it, but it compared to the time that has elapsed before us, it is really nothing. So all these things that I am talking about, like when we are advancing in age, when unfortunately we, have, uh, we contract a disease from here or there, or acquire a disease here or there or something. So all these become good indicators. So Quran is saying to these people, what are you waiting for? You are still pretending that you are listening? What are you doing? So, so all this that Muhammad Sallam is telling them is supposed to be Dhikra for them, something that they have to bear in mind. Okay? But that understanding, if it comes too late, is not going to help you at all. So now it is the time again to make tadabbur. Because if there is something, is there something bigger than to think about the consequence of this life that we will see in the hereafter? Sometimes, I mean, we are talking about consequences here in this life, but really the, the most important consequence is the overall outcome of this life, of your own life that will be reflected in the hereafter. Make sense? Yes. <clears throat> now go to verse number 19. You see it as uh, uh, alternating now. Now talking about the, the, the believers, including Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because he is among the people who, who have given the knowledge <laughs> Muhammad was given a lot through the revelation he was given so so, so much <laughs> more with the with a capital M we have given you a lot we have taught you a lot Continue to, to seek knowledge. Even la ilaha illallah is not should not should be preceded by knowledge, not just to say it. Brother. I, I remember when I was, I think in high school and I came across this verse I said oh my god if I, uh, and you know we, um, uh, during that time I'm talking about like 40 50 years ago the, the uh, 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 it was and uh, and my and, and at, at that time it, it 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 was very prevalent that those who are following religion Okay, and they are committed to religion and, and they follow religion. They are usually ignorant and they are, uh, uh, they don't know anything. And, uh, and, uh, and, and so they were looked at really down. But when I saw this, it's, it, it, 
it really gave me, and I, I remember using it with those who really trying to portray like people who follow religion. That I said on the on the contrary, even to say La ilaha illallah should be based on knowledge. Fahlam annahu la ilaha. It's not a blind following. Not because my parents are saying it, and I am saying it. Not because, I mean, I was raised in this community who says all that la ilaha illallah, so I have to. No, you have to come to the, uh, believe it based on knowledge. Somebody was saying something? Brother, this is the first, this ayah is in chapter, chapter 19. Is a in knowing and Allah mean is not the so simple things. Is some people just know okay Allah is the greater, and this way and this thing that not the in only one thing, is entire his uh, creation. And mm -hmm. this my I understand you. You cannot easily know the Allah. How do you know Allah? His uh, creation. Ah, uh, exactly, different, exactly, different, exactly. Different. You see, if, if I'm talking about the mercy of Allah, I cannot, I, I will not know really the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the core meaning of, of, of the mercy of Allah. It's so difficult to, under, to, to even to have the words to express it. But if you look at the effects of the mercy of Allah, the manifestations of the mercy of Allah is all around us. Very good. So in, in other words, so and how the, uh, uh, the, uh, the unity of Allah, la ilaha illallah, okay? The tawheed, is that right? This is how we express the tawheed by saying la ilaha illallah. But you need to see, okay, this unity everywhere. And to become your outlook, to become your vision. So you unite among the people. You unite yourself with the universe. You are not conquering the universe. Universe is not your foe. It's not your enemy. It is your, your friend. This universe around you Pray and and uh, and and uh, it suppressed its Islam and it's it makes its sujood okay. So you 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 are joining the universe and you unite with them in making tasbih and sujood Allah Azza wa Jal. You see what? I, so it's 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 a uh, it's it's a process. And so it doesn't mean that Muhammad Hassan didn't know and now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling him to know. No, here, fa'lam, it's like continue learning. Continue just looking like, around you. I'm just sorry? Like this, just like this saying that if the ocean can be ink is uh -huh. 10 plus ink, exactly. then add more. Yes. If we don't know that part, very that good. Much, very good. good. Very and good. And then you don't, you never know the Allah. And exactly. And so everything it becomes a word of Allah. Even the leaf that is like falling down from the tree, it is really another word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because each one of everything that we see in this existence is the result of a kalima. Be and it and it and it and it is or it was. It is it, it came out to existence as the result of this order coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what is really missing some when when people look at all these phenomena around them and they they know that there there is something some some someone or uh, 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 that is responsible for the tuning of this universe because if it is really like 
uh, goes a little bit outside its path, it will be destroyed. And so it is changing all the time, which means it is undergoing a tuning. And this is why Quran said, You see, we are behind this expansion of the universe. Because if this universe is not expanding, it will collapse. And so this, this dynamic movement, there is someone behind it, tuning it, cannot be haphazard, cannot be, I mean, by chance. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say not, he will not say wa'ana, he say wa'inna, in the plural. This is to reflect his greatness. It's like when the, a king will say, they will not say, I am king, blah, blah, blah. He will say, we the king, we the president. <laughs> you see, because he's speaking of from a great position. So it is a reflection of the greatness of Allah who is behind all this. Yeah, when we say man dhal ladhi yashfa wa indahu illa bi idni Exactly, so, which means that nothing goes without his permission. Yeah. But when it comes to, to this huge universe around us, how it is ordered, how it is really like, I mean, you, you see how it is very tuned. But this is, did not happen like this. Cannot. So they, they see the phenomena, but they cannot see or ask them, themselves the question, who did that? I remember this very beautiful example. Probably I have shared it with you probably many years ago, but it's worth really saying it. If you if you are an archaeologist and you were digging in some place in Africa or in Asia, in the Middle East, whatever, or in South America, and, and then boom, you start seeing, finding things like pottery. Um, uh, and uh, uh, like artifacts and some drawings here and there. I, I, I am really asking you by Allah, okay? What is your conclusion? What is the first conclusion you make out of this? As were, an archeologist. There were civilization there. Or people. <laughs> You can I mean, immediately you say, did you say, oh, probably some animals came by. Nobody will, they will laugh at us. Or uh, uh, th these came on their own. The first conclusion that there were people there. And they have a culture or civilization. And this, these are some of the manifestations of what they have created. They did not come on their own. Is that right? And then you continue digging. Shaquille. Yes. So you continue digging as an archaeologist yes, and you I use and you use really better tools. Carefully. Okay. Very carefully. And then you start seeing, oh my God, you reached a place where now you find bones and, and you studied them at, at least grossly and they look like really the, 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 the bones of a, or the skeleton of a human being and the skull of a human being. What should be your, your question? Somebody created. Ask, ask the same question that you asked at the beginning. When you saw things, 
You said who created them? Is that right? Why when we find like the remains of a human being, nobody is asking who created that man? That a human being. Logically, we have to ask the same question. The same way we ask who <laughs> created these artifacts, we have to ask who created that person. And unfortunately, they fail to do that only because so nobody can really like uh, accuse them that, oh, they are not anymore scientists. No, you are still a scientist. There is no, no contradiction. Because it, cre creation is an order. You need someone who has given the order. Yes. If you don't ask the question, you cannot go anywhere else. Exactly. And, and this is the whole idea that why, where that we, th th this is why we are saying, okay, and you will see it in this verse, okay, that knowledge is the first step. The action was is an action. Is that right? Yes. But it did, it was preceded by knowledge. You see, you see it? Yeah. Yeah, knowing is Allah is not the Ah, so 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 and before you say something, before you say la ilaha illallah, before you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness, before you do, you need to base all this on knowledge. Seek the knowledge. When you listen to Quran, it's is 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 but we need to make tadabbur to make to to infer the knowledge from it utul ilm fa'lam and you see it, it is directed to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the first one to, to to do what to apply yeah. first of all fa'lam <laughs> he is the first to learn is he any more illiterate? No. In the zone of Quranic, yeah, is a Quran. Is <laughs> he taught you what you didn't know. You were illiterate, but not anymore after you received the revelation. He, he became the most knowledgeable. <laughs> Fa'lam. So this is why I always say, an Nabi al Ummi, he is the one who belongs to the people. He is one of his people. He is not different from them. They did not receive revelation before. Because the people will respond mostly to someone who knows about them, who knows their knowledge, their, their, their language, who knows their customs, their traditions, what they like, what they don't like, what are their uh, hopes, what there are uh, their aspirations. Then they will identify. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ then he became his uh, uh, his spokesman, if you like, as if the prophet, okay, the prophet or the messenger, is really speaking on behalf of his people. He is expressing what they cannot express. This is why, like sometimes, like uh, for example, uh, in, in a court of law, 
you basically hire a, a lawyer. Why? Because he can speak his knowledge. I mean, uh, he, he is rep representing you. He can speak on your behalf, but because he has the knowledge, he has the lingo, he has the language by which he can express the ideas. If it is left to you, you don't have that background. So the, 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 the prophet had to have the tongue of his people. إلا بلسان قومه ليبين لهم. So فعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله واستغفر لذنبك. Again here, Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is not committing sins, but he is very vigilant about like if he doesn't go from the good to the better. Or he, if there are moments, not times, moments that he may uh, forget to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What should we say to ourselves? If Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, okay, the leader showing the way is making istighfar all the time for himself and for the believers, men and women. Can I because, ask you a question? Because, but let me just finish this so that people will not, because istighfar is a transcendence. It's like a, a resolve that you take on yourself to become better. And again, I want you to see the dynamicity. You see, it's remember what we used to, the, the dua that we used to make together after uh, Taraweeh in Ramadan. وَنَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْكَ لَا نُحْسِي ثَنَاءً عَلَيْكَ أَنْتَ كَمَا أَثْنَيْتَ عَلَى نَفْسِكَ So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at every level of showing and expressing his gratitude to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, his shukr to Allah, his hamd and thana and his praises to Allah, he feels that he has not given Allah his due. So he has to move to a higher level. And how does he move by making istighfar? That that level does, I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deserve from me more. I am asking him for forgiveness. I should really all the time move. Do you see the dynamicity? So knowledge is dynamic. Istighfar is dynamic. Belief is dynamic. Sujood is dynamic. Whatever level you have reached should not be satisfied. Wallahu ya'lamu mutaqallabakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows your movements, your coming and going, your, your, that, the vicissitudes of the changes that you go through and where is your outcome. So don't be satisfied with any outcome. If it is, God forbid, a bad outcome, you make the resolve to adjust and to transcend that error or mistake. And if it is something good, you say, I am not satisfied with that good level. I want to move to another one that is even closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And without having Allah as your qibla, as your goal, this is not going to happen. You see why? Okay, you, when you stand, you say, وَجَّهْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّذِي فَطَرَ السَّمَاوَاتِ your, your ultimate qibla is Allah. And this is why the journey is very long.
and it will take you from one level to the next. But it, it is ongoing. It does not really end. Yes, Brother Yusuf. Okay. It might be my misunderstanding, but if you can clear it for me, the mm -hmm. preceding ayah, فَهَلْ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَّا السَّاعَةَ أَنْ تَأْتِيَهُمْ بَغْتَةَ فَقَدْ جَاءَ أَشْرَاتُهَا فَأَنَّا لَهُمْ إِذَا جَاءَتْهُمْ ذِكْرَاهُمْ That ayah pertains to the people who are denying and then yes. the, yes. this ayah comes in right away فَعَلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِزَنْبِكْ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنِ I, I took, I, maybe I'm taking it in a, in a wrong way that this ayah is pertaining also like addressing those people who are denying Fadam annahu la ilaha illallah illallah wastaghfir. You know, now is still the time. Do istighfar, learn and accept, you know, what the Prophet is saying. Um, and at the, at the end, wallahu ya'lamu mutaqallabahum. And Allah knows what you guys are doing. So I'm thinking maybe I'm I'm wrong, but if well, you can it's, clarify. It's not, it's, not, it's not wrong, but I, I think it is uh, it will be stronger when we see that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the first, okay, to uh, uh, to uh, to abide and and to uh, implement this. You see, okay. and and he is the first to believe and the first but here when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Fa'lam it's not like he did not know and now he knows but to continue the process of learning to continue increasing the knowledge Zidni ilma you see yeah but at the same time, it is addressed now, to those No folks. question, no question that Muhammad Sallallahu as I said, is the leader for the believers, and then they should be a model for those to to learn from it. But again, I can uh, the 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 structure is really like the symmetry that we are talking about. In other words, take these four verses. Can you put them on the same page, uh, Shaquille? From 16 can, to 19. I can try. It's going to be, yeah. I have to make it a little smaller. That's fine. That's fine. But if you look at, so, so we have 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. So 16, okay, is like symmetrical to 18. 17 is symmetrical to 19. You see, it is alternating. So it is not like talking about one group and then moving. No, so that you can see. In, in a circular way, if you like, and a continuous way, okay, to make the difference, to see the difference between these two groups. Okay. They were, the, the, the people who were pretending that they are listening to the prophet and they are not learning anything from the revelation and from the lessons of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala is telling them in verse number 18, what are you waiting for? You see? And those who are utul ilm, okay, continue seeking knowledge. You see that? Lilladina utul ilm. Yes. Okay? Tadaw zadahum hudan. These are the people, don't stop asking for guidance. Don't, but I don't stop seeking knowledge because it is the basis for your actions. How it is verbal and non-verbal actions. Okay, knowledge is very important. I, I, I think of this like a wave to like in the ocean. Yes, right? exactly. The wave exactly. Is coming through a yes. wave, like there is yes. one wave that to 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 talk to some certain people, and then another another one. Exactly. Message, right? Very it's just wave after wave. Yes. Yes. And we saw last a couple of weeks ago the same thing with other in the same surah, like they come alternating because the surah from the beginning is talking back and forth. L l remember the first verses. Okay, 
وهو الحق من ربهم كفر عنهم سيئاتهم واصلح بالهم in contrast you see al kafaru wa saddu an sabi in contrast to the believers then quran said okay why is this because the first group following the falsehood while the believers are following the truth coming from their lord you see so uh, it's the the alternation uh, uh, the, uh, the alteration okay is uh, uh, like keep the the picture alive as you are really reading uh, if it was in a linear way you may forget about the first group as you are reading about the second group you see what i mean now in this surah is the structure is is and the tone and everything is totally different i remember when i you like and, and uh, when you used like to recite this this surah uh, during the prayer especially during tarawih people immediately notice even those who may not know i mean they don't speak arabic and uh, and they uh, but they immediately come and say this surah is, is different from what you have been reciting before the way i mean the, the it's uh, that its tone is totally different it's amazing i mean how even those who may not know the language even notice that there is something really different but what i honestly i learned this alteration okay in the verses is very beautiful okay this it makes the surah more coherent and it it makes the reader like more uh, 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 yani reading actively and listening actively okay to, uh, to 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 the meaning and uh, to see the contrast okay fa'lam annahu la ilaha illa allah wastaghfir li dhanbika walil mu'minina wal mu'minat wallahu ya'lamu mutaqallabakum wa mathwakum so you see the the outcome the emphasis on the outcome okay the emphasis on the consequences and that doesn't come unless you you listen to quran actively and think about the uh, the, the the implications the consequences the outcome is not enough okay to just no the the the, the 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 it's not for for the now and here but what are you going to do with this information how is it going to change your outcome how it will help you to adjust your life you see so and so even istighfar believe me becomes a positive thing not only just to wipe previous sins but it is a, a a it becomes the means or the way to move from the good to the better to the best you see it's it's in in a, a an ongoing journey towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's just this is the continuation of the theme right it's alternating mm -hmm. so it's the part is a word that you can use for either one so you can yes. use for for the good or for the bad and then Ex sometimes yes. we tend to use for bad most of the time yes yes but yes it, it should be meant to use for for and when you're getting something good out of this life you should istighfar because you could get you get stuck with exactly this, yeah, i am satisfied exactly with this exactly this exactly you are very I think, you are very right i think the prophet istighfar was exactly for to do that right from going from one level to another because no he never did uh, say sin exactly exactly and this is why we need to 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 take uh, istighfar and tawbah uh, not in the negative sense but it has a very positive also uh, sense for it okay which is and muhammad sallam is really the leader in that he is showing the way for all of us it's, it's he is the the model for the believers and those who have not believed yet or they they are shaky and uh, as quran always refer to them fi qulubihim marad 
okay they, they, they're, 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 the problem is not they are not they don't have eyes and ears and a brain but they they, they, they whatever they see whatever they hear is not still reaching their hearts and minds and this is why uh, they they are not getting the right knowledge and if they don't have the right knowledge they are not making the right decisions and this is why they are reaching these bad outcomes the believers are invited to continue seeking the knowledge and the first among them is muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa'lam annahu la ilaha illallah you, you need to know it so that you believe in it and then your actions will really like be congruent with what you you believed in you see it's 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 it's, it's it, i mean the idea of okay you just believe and you will be saved does, doesn't work in the uh, in the vision of quran let me share with you this. This is something um, uh, it came just from a conversation that I had just a few days ago with the brother Naji. And it is so beautiful. The surah that we all read every week on a Friday. Surah Al-Kahf. Can you refer to it, please? Uh, uh, to its beginning, which is number... Uh, 18. Just to show you again how the and by the symmetry you can get so much more information. You know it. Alhamdulillah, the Anzala ala Abdi Kitab. Go down a little bit. But remember, uh, uh, go, go a little bit up, please. Sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. وَيُبَشِّرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ Okay, keep that in mind. Go down now. وَيُنْذِرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا اتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ وَلَدَ Who, who, who basically like uh, said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken to himself a son? What comes to mind? Christian. Isa alayhi Is that right? Jesus. Is that right? Okay. How Jesus is defined in Quran? Kalimatuhu alqaha ila Maryam. He is the word of Allah. Without the word of Allah be, he will not come to this life, to this existence. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Is this the only word? of Allah, go to the end of the surah to show you how many words Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has. To the end. Okay. قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ here number 109 قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ الْبَحْرُ مِدَادًا لِكَلِمَاتِ رَبِّي don't confine the word of Allah only to Isa Isa is just one word of the words of Allah that you, you they will not perish no matter what you do even if you trans use the, the, the ocean as ink to write the words of Allah. The, the, the ocean will dry up and the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not end. Even if you bring another ocean to, you, to, to help you write, it will not happen. But look at the last verse. Believing in Isa alayhi salam, 
or believing in Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam is not, or believing in Allah is not enough. To say that I believe in Allah or his, his, kali, his kalima or, or his messenger is not enough. You have to translate that into action. يبشر الذين آمنوا what? وعملوا at the beginning of the surah that I told you keep in mind ويبشر الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات look at the end فمن كان يرجو لقاء ربه فليعمل عملا صالحا how are you going to meet with Allah what will really uh, I mean, I mean uh, what, what only what you have invested in terms of action, in ter this is what will determine your outcome. So make sure that you translate your belief into righteous actions. You got it? Yes. You see, so uh, the, the words of everything you see around you is the result of a kalima from Allah. He is the tuner. He is the creator. He is behind everything that is, is around us and in us. Okay? But Believing in his kalima or kalimat is not enough unless it is translated into action. And that what will determine the result of that meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ وَلِلْمُرْسَلِينَ فَاعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ مُتَقَلَّبَكُمْ وَمَثْوَاكُمْ Allah only knows the final outcome. No one, but you have to, we have to struggle every moment in order to make sure that our outcome is what we want it to be. We want to be with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to, to meet him, to see him, not to be separated from him by a veil. We don't want this. But our actions, our righteous deeds are going to determine our outcome. They will be reflected in the day of judgment. Mathwakum. Our actions should be congruent with our knowledge. Otherwise, we fall into those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like. You remember in Surah uh, As-Saf? سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لِمَا تَقُولُونَ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ كَبُرَ مَقْتًا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَنْ تَقُولُوا مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates most, does not like those who say something and they do something else. Like these people, they are pretending that they are listening. What, 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 what are they waiting for? This meeting with Allah is, is not very far. No matter how long we live, it is really very short. It's nothing compared 
to, to, to the whole life on, that has already passed. 14 billion years have passed. What are you, what are you waiting for? I think uh, we can stop here because uh, uh, the, the next verses really like bring uh, a, a, another important, uh, I mean, um, uh, aspect of the same topic, okay? Can and again, okay. yeah, please. Yeah. yeah, I think Jamal. so in the, in the judgment day, Allah is gonna ask the first question to us. What did you learn? Mm -hmm. Why why didn't you use your brain? Mm -hmm. That's my concern. That's why I'm thinking. We're wasting all the time. they not learning anything. And if you more learn, more more you have shukur, more appreciation. Mm -hmm. I think we are all guilty. Not using time, right time. If, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I thank you, Brother Jamal. I think this is a, 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 I mean, reminder for all of us. Honestly, I mean, like, because we uh, again, uh, 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 if Muhammad alayhi salatu was was making istighfar for these uh, short moments that he may uh, be like uh, uh, distracted from being conscious of Allah subhanahu wa taala, so. What, 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 what should we say about ourselves? So our level of vigilance should be <laughs> higher and higher, okay? And again, the, how our learning will help to guide our actions, how to make them better. The, our learning is really to make adjustments. Like all of you, you, we are doing it every day. Look at yourself 15 years ago or 10 years ago or five years ago. Are you doing the same thing? No. So you have adjusted so many things, changed so many things. I mean, I started with a, a, a like for, for certain patients, like let us say HIV patient, I started with certain medications now Oh, I have forgotten about the first medication that I have used with them. Literally, I have, I mean, if you ask me, I even forget their names because we adjusted based on what? Based on knowledge. Use this, don't use that. Combine this with this. You do not combine this with that. And we learn the hard way sometimes. But we are adjusting and we continue to adjust to improve and to make it even better. And I think that applies to all of you, to all of us, okay? This is mutaqallabakum. These are changes that we go through, these adjustments, but knowledge should help us to adjust in the right direction. I, I came across a very beautiful verse. I have been reading it so many years and only yesterday I paid attention to it. Astaghfirullah al-Azim. Wallahi, yani you can, you say it from the bottom of your heart. Okay, Surat uh, uh, Fussilat, number 41. Verse number five or six. Having a little trouble with my oh, okay. okay. Hold on. Let me try to get to Yeah, it. that's fine. Let me reopen it. I think somehow it's crashed. Yeah, yeah. Rebooting it yeah. <laughs> locally. <laughs> While we are waiting for uh, brother, uh, mm -hmm. can I say just quickly something? Yeah. In, yeah. in, in, in the the revelation of Quran starts with uh, Iqra bismi rabbikal ladhi khalaq khalaqal insana. Mm -hmm. 
men alak and ilm talking about and yes, it end, yes. it, and the quran the quranic revelation ends by surah nasr and that says fasabbih bihamd rabbika wastaghfir innahu kana tawwaba so it starts with the ilm that's what we are talking about and it ends yeah. with istighfar yeah yeah and the same thing here verse number five uh, six قل انما انا بشر مثلكم يوحى الي انما الهكم اله واحد فاعلم انه لا اله الا الله is that right yes same thing so i am a human being like you number number 6 قل انما انا بشر مثلكم i am like you a human being the only difference that i am receiving the revelation what is the the crux of the revelation is about tawhid okay as a vision innama ilahukum yuha ilay annama ilahukum ilahun wahid fastaqimu ilay fastaqimu ilay make sure that you take the straight path to him all the time wastaghfiru That, you see oh. yeah because it, it is it's a, it's, a, it's a journey that is full of changes some of these changes may be a little bit negative or diversion you make istighfar to go back some of them like okay you are on the right path but you are seeking a a new, a new position closer to allah fastaqimu ilayhi again because i mean like as i always tell you that the goal determines your direction because allah is our ultimate goal our ultimate qibla ilahukum ilahun wahid we are we don't have different qiblas one we are not like al mushrikeen because they have so many qibla so they were this is why they are lost no you have one qibla you can be very organized and you are focused is that right you yes. keep allah only instead of jumping from one to exactly, another another exactly desire, one desire exactly to yeah exactly fastaqimu yeah. ilayhi you see yeah. again you see the 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 continuity and the dynamicity look at the next verse describing al mushrikeen so in other words these two verses okay what you see in in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his believers you see the opposite in the other al mushrikeen they don't believe in one god in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being the one god and they don't pay zakat and they don't believe in the day of a judgment is that right they reject the day of a judgment while the muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the believers they believe in allah they give zakat they believe in the day of a judgment al mushrikeen they can they don't make istighfar they cannot stay on the right path because they have so many paths pathways you see the istighfar comes from when you realize that there are something some next level you have to go to exactly so you exactly. made a mistake so people that are they're deep in that that they're they're the way they're lost they don't mm-hmm. even see that they are missing something or they're exactly lost. they don't exactly. they're lost without any direction right yeah. that's the worst thing in the in the world uh, right very good very good it's, in fact it becomes no direction it it starts with a wrong direction but it ends with no direction you see i mean like when well it's like when you are on the highway i i i use this example a lot you may miss an exit is that right and we have done it all of us mm-hmm. but you know how to come back to it 
because you know your destination and you know that this is the way we, that you have to take in order to reach your destination. You do everything in your capacity to come back, even if it takes longer time, but you know this is the only exit that takes you to your destination. So you have to come back to it, okay? You adjust, is that right? You correct the, 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 the mistake and sometimes very quickly and you realize it very quickly. Make sense? Yes. But, but imagine you are on the highway, but you don't have your, the, the right way to go to your destination. You don't have the instructions. You don't have a GPS or the GPS is not working for one reason or another. What will happen to you? Wallahi, I feel apprehended. I feel that I am going to die. The first one, you made a mistake in the direction. You took the wrong direction. Easy to correct. The problem is when you have no direction. Or you didn't pay attention your direction. No, no, I mean, that's fine. But eventually you come back. Okay. Yeah, I know that. If it you will don't be longer. pay attention when you go into that, you can, you can miss anything or exit. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. I mean, you are totally lost. I mean, yeah. But this is the no direction, which is worse than the wrong direction. Both are, are, are we, we don't want them. But one is easy. And I see it the same thing in Surah Al-Fatiha. غير المغضوب عليهم at the end of the Al-Fatiha. المغضوب عليهم. These are the people who basically have no direction. الضالين. Those who basically missed the direction. They are the most interested to go to go back. Thankfully, the first the al maghdubi alayhim they constitute only a sliver in the general population. Don't worry about them. Focus on Abdali. Those who were are confused, who they they lost the direction. They are waiting for you and me to guide them. Here where we have to focus. Don't think, don't like, I mean, like uh, uh, write them off. Distinguish, otherwise why Quran is talking about these two? They are not the same. Don't worry about them. Focus on Abdali. Those who are really lost and they are asking for guidance. They may not come to you and say, oh, come and guide me. But you can tell from their actions that they need help. Inshallah, next week we'll continue the discussion. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you, brother.